Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a MIDI acoustic guitar track in GarageBand. Tap on the plus icon. Drag your finger across the screen until the guitar pane appears. Then tap on Smart Guitar. Tap on Notes. Then tap on the strings to play single guitar notes freestyle. Press on a string and drag up or down to pitch bend the note. Tap on chords to play in smart mode. Tap on a chord name to play the chord. The chords are based on the currently selected key signature of the song. Tap on the settings icon and tap on key signature Then tap on a keynote and major or minor to change the song key signature. Then tap on the settings icon again. The chord names have now changed to the new key signature. Tap on a string below the chord name to play the chord note on that string. Drag your finger up or down the strings below a chord name to strum the chord. To play a melody of chord notes, tap on one on the autoplay icon. Then tap on a chord name to start the chord note melody. Tap on the chord note name again to stop the chord note melody. Or tap on a different chord name to change the chord of the chord note melody. Tap on 2, 3 or 4 on the autoplay icon to change the melody. Tap on off on the autoplay icon to turn off the melodies. To record the MIDI acoustic guitar, tap on the red record icon, wait for the four beat counting, then start tapping on the chord names, tapping on strings or strumming strings. Then tap on the stop icon to stop recording. To edit your recording, tap on the Tracks icon. Then double tap on the MIDI clip. And then tap on Edit on the pop-up menu. Press on the middle of a note and drag the note to move the note. Press on the end of a note and drag left or right to change the length of a note. Tap on a note, then tap on velocity on the pop-up menu, 
then drag the dot on the pop-up slider to reduce or increase the note velocity. Drag the pen icon to the right so it turns red to add or delete notes. Tap on the grid to add a note and tap on a note to delete a note. Tap on Done to end MIDI editing. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!